Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome into the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this multi-tool. This is often, most often sold as the Splitman branded multi-tool. However, in the USA, it is also sold by many other brands. It is on Amazon Prime. I will include links and you can check out those listings. It goes for as much as $35 to as low as $20 sometimes. Here is the tool set. It's got one-handed opening on a wood saw. All the four longer tools have uh, their own individual locks. It's got one-handed opening on a plain-edged blade. And then on the other side, it's got one-handed opening if you use your other hand on a file. And last, it's got scissors, which actually worked surprisingly well, as you will see. It's got your typical multi-tool pliers with wire cutters. We're going to test those out. It's got smaller tools, including a Phillips screwdriver, a reamer all. Those also lock. That lever right there is the lock. On the other side, it has a bottle opener, a can opener, a cutting hook, and it has two screwdriver ends on those opener tools. It also comes with a sheath, which has a Velcro overflap. It's got a belt loop there. It's semi-open. All right, let, let's test this thing out. I've got a variety of materials here that we are going to cut with different parts of the multi-tool. All right, so that is some paracord. And the knife, the plain edge knife blade is quite sharp. You really don't have to use much force at all to go through the paracord. All right, so that's a, that's a good start. That's a good indicator. But what else can it do? All right, here's the scissors on some plastic bindings. The scissors work very well on the plastic bindings. I was surprised how well these scissors work. Here they are on paracord. I did notice they work a lot better if you cut towards the tips of the scissors, which is the opposite of some. Some scissors, most scissors work better towards the pivot. But these definitely work better if you cut towards the uh, tips of the scissors. Here is some bike tire tubing if you have to cut like rubber hose or you want to make a ranger band. Did excellent on the rubber tubing. Here is nylon strap material, not unlike a seat belt. And look how it goes through that easily. All right, here is some soft wire for the wire cutters. It does very well on the soft wire. However, it did not do as well on thicker wire uh, as you will see. That is a thicker wire. It's cable wire. Now, I don't know if you can see there necessarily, but those wire cutters are very flat. Uh, not the best geometry. It can cut the thicker wire, but it's, it's kind of silly how much force you have to use, how much force you have to apply compared to uh, better functioning wire cutters. I will, I will show you a comparison just to show you what I mean. But yeah, it can do them, but just not ideal. Here, you're going to see my Leatherman Surge wire cutters. You see how you don't have to, like, apply much force at all? Here they are again, because these are way sharper. You see, that was virtually no force. Same exact wire. Yeah, so I got to say, the performance of the, uh, the cheaper tools wire cutters was not quite as... Not as good at all, but... All right, here's the gripping function of the pliers. You want to use your pliers as forceps. There it is. There it is, doctor. We've removed the <laughs> snap-off blade. Here's the pliers just turning a piece from my bottle cutting stand. I got to say, the plier head does open quite wide, so this could accommodate, this could turn something much larger, uh, but that's what I had around. All right, so that was the pliers. Here's a, the saw is long. And aggressive, we're just going to start off a groove. We're going to make a groove and then make a notch. Right, so as I was saying, this actually dipped. The price of this multi-tool actually dipped down to $20 at one point. And then it went back up to $30. When it first came on Amazon, it was actually $35. Now, with the holidays coming up, you see the, there's the groove. With the holidays coming up, it's almost inevitable that it'll sometimes go back down to 20, which that's a good deal, I gotta say. All right, here we're gonna we're gonna intersect that that groove. Some more blade work. Got some whittling. 
Yeah, here is your uh, your little bushcraft notch tutorial. But I gotta say, those scissors worked very well. The scissors on this worked as well as on like a hundred dollar multi tools I own. All right, so you saw the notch there. More blade work. This is uh, if you had to sharpen a pencil, this would dominate that that incredibly difficult task. Now, just a little bit of whittling. You can sharpen a pencil, or you can make. A little mini, mini steak there. Now the blade on this, the edge came a little bit rough, so I did touch it up. I touched it up on my sharp maker for about two minutes out of the box. All right, here it is after the touch up, just on some paper. So, you know, not, not bad after a little touch up. All right, here's the two-sided file. I do wish it was a three-sided file because I like to be able to use the file as kind of a hacksaw, but nonetheless, there it is filing on a nail. And so how are you all doing today? You need some multi-tools? I think you already have a bunch of multi-tools, but you know, maybe, maybe you need a backup. All right, so there you see the shiny part on the rusty nail. I did pull that nail out of a pallet using the pliers as well. I didn't film it because I had to brace. I had to use two hands, but... All right, there is the uh, reamer awl. So as you see, the reamer also has the, the sewing holes. So if you are a leather worker, which I sadly am not, but if you are, you could sew with that as well. All right, so I make a divot and then I connect it with another divot, like a wormhole from freaking Stargate now. Remember that show? Anyway, yeah, I sped this footage up because a hand drill is definitely not a power drill, but all right, there you go. So if you had to drill a lanyard hole in, in like on your billy club or your replacement axe uh, or tomahawk handle or whatever the heck you're carving, yeah, it works pretty well. I mean, it's sharp and pointy, chisel ground as it should be. Here's a screwdriver on, my, on one of the uh, handle screws on the Kershaw Camp 12 machete. I got to say, this screwdriver is thick. It's sturdy. It has pretty good reach for a multi-tool screwdriver and it locks, so those are all good things. Oh, and it's a very useful size. There are a lot of uh, screws of that size, so yeah, that did well. All right, speaking of the screwdriver, it can accommodate your generic uh, bit driver like that. There's a magnet in there. Now, I got that one from one of my Ganzo multi-tools, although I do think some listings of the tool might sell uh, a bit kit with it. Not sure, but you can get those generic bit kits uh, for like two dollars or get them with other multi-tools uh, you know it's wobbly but it'll work in a pinch here's the cutting hook I was surprised how sharp this was required virtually no effort to uh, go through that paracord so yeah, this is one thing they added like this a surge uh, does not have a cutting hook but all right here's the can opener I'm just gonna puncture this to show it can yes I am left-handed the hand of evil, no doubt. All right, so you saw that. It was sharp enough to puncture the can. It's a push style can opener. You want some root beer? Hey, here's the bottle opener. And there you go. I'm not actually gonna drink it because I now follow a, a low sugar diet. But that's, uh, you know, that's what the gas station had, that root beer. Here is the back of the saw, which is sharp. I'm going to use it as a striker. I'm not using any extra tinder. I'm just going to light the um, the shavings directly because that six inch fire steel I use is a beast. It makes good sparks. All right, so the back of the uh, the saw is sharp, and you can also use the back of the saw for scraping bark. Here's a comparison of the tool sets with my Leatherman Surge. So this uses basically the same locking mechanisms as a Surge. But there's a lot of other differences. Uh, the cheaper multi-tool has a cutting hook. The cheaper multi-tool has done away with the serrated blade. It has done away with the bit driver. Uh, it does not have the tool exchanger. So basically they got rid of pretty much the more expensive features that are on a surge. And also the plier head is noticeably smaller than the surge and the wire cutters did not work as well. All right, so those are the major differences. 
So basically a very, very poor man's surge. Uh, however, I got to say the scissors on the cheaper tool, they worked just as well, maybe even a little better than the scissors on my surge. So the scissors were a high point. Uh, I think if you already own a surge, which a lot of people do, a lot of people are going to buy this Splitman multi-tool as a backup because if you have a surge, that's an expensive multi-tool, you're going to carry that with you probably every day. So if you need a multi-tool to just stick in your glove box or a tackle box or a spare bug out kit or your freaking brother-in-law's spare bug out kit, you're not going to buy a surge and just stick it in a kit and never use it, right? So that's where stuff like this comes in. It's like, it's more of a backup, but very, very useful and actually very good for the low price. So my final conclusion on this multi-tool, crazy good deal for the price. I mean, for as low as $20 sometimes, this has got to be easily within the top five multi-tools of that price range for sure. The only things I would change... Uh, I would add a, I would make the file three-sided and I would give you sharper wire cutters for sure. But other than that, I mean, the cutting hook was very sharp. The plain edge was done well. The scissors get an A. All right, so crazy good deal. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the links in the text description box. Those do help out the channel financially and I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this where the multi-tool is demonstrated, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.